Hello everyone, and thank you for taking part in the Limitless Profits on eBay course. My name is Eric Campbell, and I'm happy to teach you what I have learned over the years. So let's get started. Uh, if you already have an eBay account, feel free to skip this video. If not, we're just going to run through this to make sure you know how to get set up. So we're going to go to ebay.com, and in the top left, we're going to click on register and just fill out this info really quickly. Okay, then we're gonna hit submit. And just gonna click that again. All right, so we're gonna get this page here and we're gonna wanna click continue. So now the first thing we wanna notice is if we click here, we'll see our eBay user ID is a random string of numbers and letters and we're going to want to change that. So to change that we're going to click on account settings and we're going to go to personal information and see we have our user ID right here. And we're going to click on edit. So you're going to type in the password you just created. And now we get to enter our eBay user ID. And we can change it once every 30 days. But it's important to choose a name that's professional sounding. And simple is better because it's easily remembered by your customers. All right, so once we have our new user ID, we just hit save. And now we got it. Brand new user ID. Good to go. So what we're going to want to do next is create a telephone pin. And this may seem pointless now, but if you ever need to contact eBay support, it's very important. So what that actually has done for us is it's taken us directly to the update your information page. And this is very important to fill out. I'm not going to fill it out here on camera, but it's stuff you want on your eBay account, and you want this to match your billing address. And that's it. Your eBay account's good to go. Up next is how to create a PayPal account and how to link that to your eBay account. All right, so now that we have our eBay account created, we're going to create a PayPal account. And to do that, we're going to go to paypal.com and click on the Sign Up button. And we're going to want to choose PayPal for business and nonprofits. And if you already have a PayPal account set up and it's for personal use, that's okay. But since we have the option now, let's choose for business. And we're going to want to click on standard. It's most popular because it's free. And get started. And we want to type in the email address and do the CAPTCHA. And then we're going to want to fill out all this information. All right, so we've just created our PayPal business account, and it's asking what type of business this is. So we're going to go individual or sole proprietorship. And this doesn't matter too much, so I'm just going to put in random information. We're selling children's clothing, and we're making five to $25,000 in sales, and I do not have a business website. So obviously if you already have a product that you're planning on selling, you're going to want to put that information in there. Okay, so now we're going to get an email to activate your account. And it's important that you click on this. And confirm your email address. All right, and we're now in for PayPal. And so what we're going to want to do is go back to our eBay account. Right, so now we want to link our eBay account to our PayPal account. And to get to this main eBay account page, you go to the top left and click on account settings. And here we're going to link my PayPal account. And we're going to type in PayPal password, which is not 
And almost done. She returned to eBay. And that's it. We're all good to go. So that concludes this video.